I be so sick of your niggas, y'all can't you think me? I be so bold myself, can you come and fuck me? I feel so ordinary, say when you won't round me Treat me like God, why you wear me out? Why you miss me? Tear me out, treat me about you Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel If it's the first time here and you're wondering who I am Kali Vito Kitsiri, please hit the subscribe button, like, comment and share Don't forget to subscribe okay but if you've been been here you're a regular sabi welcome back thank you for coming back guys we have finally reached 500 subscribers boo, 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 boo. now that's what's up <laughs> okay all right guys we are we've uh, finally entered the group chat okay we are almost there and you guys are the reason that i keep on striving and keep on coming back to give you the content that you signed up for guys who honestly becomes bored in south africa like welcome to yet another video but who why 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 guys south africa is one hell of a country that we never get bored like it's a choice you can't get bored because there's always something entertaining us each and every other day so now if there's this topic that i was just so quiet i was like okay kisha it has been going on for i think a week now a few days um I think it started off last week. Um, yeah, my porisa and something so it too. Guys, if you don't know about this, where have you been? Guys, get off like Swaha under that rock old long huyona and come back to life because wow, this has been one of the hottest topics that has been happening, you know. So let me give you the story. You know the song that we all love, that we all crazy about. Amalanga maningi. Um, is that right? Something so it is on the song. It's something so it is mass music, Gabza and Maporisa. And now the unfortunate part is that something so it came out last week that he was not credited for the song. And yes, when you check it, there is no featuring something so it or anything like that. And he came guns blazing and got something so it to said he was not credited and people were angry like why are you messing with something so weird people started reporting it on apple music and all other platforms they started reporting the song because something so weird is not being credited so justice for something so weird pori came pori made a life whatever and he started crying on the live ne? Chapo, yeah, fate. Are we thinking what I it's another? You know, like guys, one thing about South Africa, let's all remove her fast. We are really telling like for too long. This is too long. This is why Santor again, who you are now because Johnny said, You see, so it was a list. You know, how to do it and go back with it today, tomorrow, after today's half, it don't have something in. So now it's been going on now. But the minute I heard it, this was my opinion and my honest opinion, okay, on this. Like, I'm giving my opinion and how I see things. On this thing the moment i heard it I was like ah whatever we know pori is notorious for such things but something so it is not innocent guys we know he's a diva like we know he's a diva if you've listened to a few people you will know how he rolls he's also a diva it's not like he's innocent so i'm just like ah, i'm not gonna like i'm sorry but he's a diva and then i let it slide yesterday yesterday i was watching podcast and i think the whole podcast and chill is what made us still be here because mcgee and so discussed this for like a whole plus 50 minutes they were on it like they were on this topic and they like by, 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 different aspects of the topic and yes what was covered was Pori is a musical genius you can't take that away from him but what's also about rutile is that as he's a specialist we can say he's a specialist or a freelancer just having him to listen to your music you should pay him for that you know just using his studio he should be paid for that so we're not saying guys my producer or right or whatever you know make g like and you go look no, you guys know make g not always but he will spew whatever but yesterday he was very certain about yes pori this yes pori that but um somewhere somehow this is how Tawairi Masters is Vizankate. McG had to explain all of that in solo. In order for you to have masters, this is what happens. Hey, what, what, what? You know? And they also touched on the fact or something so it is a diva, guys. And I was saying this last week when we're like we're just talking in general with people about this thing. I was like, something so it is a diva. 
are they gonna forget how Jube Jube when he was on podcast and chill when he was asked about like how, how he tried to work with something so we to Andy Koken and he was just being Beyonce and Rihanna, he thinks is the Beyonce of the group Lehu the soil he thought he was the Beyonce of the group he left he wanted his own special contract guys if like you you you're not familiar with this con like with what I'm saying please go look I think both of these interviews are on podcast and chill the other one was the I don't the producer or the guy that signed them. He was being interviewed and he said we gave them a contract for the soil Valley for, and he felt that he the soil care yeah, now he he is carrying it here on his back and he was like he wanted his own contract. You know and that's why because he couldn't get his own contract he wanted a contract with the soil and his own contract as something so way to Beyonce of the group, and he left. Did the soil still not prosper after he left? It still did well. Just to prove that you're not the Beyonce of the group, sir. The way on Hanan Katin. So now, days later, like I've heard a few people complain about something so it is behavior. Let's be honest. need And look at how many artists have come back to work with him. Time and, like, who who's that one artist that you say has been working with this guy? Except for Enapur. So now it's strange that only after the podcast and chill where this issue was stretched to show us both sides um something so it comes and talks about how he paid for Pori for the masters what what certain information and he was lying so if you're going to admit that you lied to us the public why should we believe you now why should we believe that now you're telling the truth because you admit that you've once lied to us Guys, and I'm just saying, I'm not saying Mapurisa is correct. We know who there's a trend in Mapurisa being exposed to chill. Um, Lindo, like we know who there's a trend. Yeah, 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 my Mapurisa being notorious. But guys, don't let our hate for Pori get in the way of trying to see things from a different perspective. This boy is also not innocent. According to me, clearly there's a lot going on. According to me, I just feel like Luena said you're not innocent. In all of this he's just trying to be the beyonce like you're used to being the beyonce it's either things go your way or they like or they go the highway like the other way or that like it's my way or the highway type of thing that's the type of character he is that's the type of person he is and we've, we've also seen this just because you're quiet or you're not so much into the social media space you don't see doesn't mean you're unproblematic it doesn't always mean that you're unproblematic. So, gonna be quick to, to, to judge someone because Babu Waporu will come on live and speak whatever that he wants to say. He'll say he's clearing his name, sometimes incriminate himself even more or whatever. But because he's always here and something is always quiet, now we're quick to say not with something so it. But this guy also, like guys, let's let's be honest. As Pachubam Zanz, our hate or... Oh, uh, whatever judgments that we have for poor and what he's notorious for also to the fact that he's a problem somewhere somehow he is a problem so that is my two cent of it both of them and especially after like after watching the episode from last night yeah, not last night, it was yesterday, but I watched it last night. Um, from Podcast and Chill. I, like, some of my theories were just proven right. So, you can go watch that for full context. And then wonder, Hore, why are you only deciding to tell us the truth today? If it is the truth, you, you can't admit publicly that you lied to us, the public. But you expect us to believe even more things that you're feeding us while you had the chance, while you had the audacity to lie to us for things to work in your favor. Because you wanted to promote your song, you lied to us. What makes us think that now you're not lying to us again so that into an and I can work in your favor? That's my question. So guys, that is all I have to say now on this matter. And NB, it is my opinion. So you better share your opinion in the comment section and tell me what you think. Something so to you, who is right, who is what, who is winning, who is losing and yeah how do we work on this okay so guys i'll see you next time thank you for watching this other it's not a vlog thank you for watching this video until the next time i see you guys bye don't forget to comment like and subscribe okay love you